neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Marshall is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. From his own goal line, he makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. the junior and they make the stop the 33 yard line i'll tell you something i'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on he's really throwing the ball with some purpose first and 10 ball on their own 33 catches it and that's all four yards gain you don't have to throw it deep to have success any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence Tries to get around the corner. He's at midfield. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 40. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. Quick pass. He's taken down at about the 35. Nothing flashy at all. But now, that first down marker is a lot closer. That brings him second and five. I got eight. I got eight. I got eight. And he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get in the ball? That was a great throw. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. Inside the 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Made around the two yard line. That's good for the three yards. That brings him second and goal. They're at the two. Second down. Touchdown, Roadrunner. He makes the PAT. A nice eight play, 78 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. And it was really those long runs that really helped propel that drive. UTSA is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 26 yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Steps out of bounds around the 28 yard line. Fires that quickly to the tailback. He's tackled at about the 37 yard line. Six-yard line. 
He makes it to the 48-yard line. So that scamper by the halfback is good for a first down. He's a reliable ball carrier, as he showed right there. He got the two yards they needed for a new set of downs. From their own 48-yard line, second down. Tackled for a loss. Loss of five there. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. So that'll make it fourth down. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there where they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. Runs with it, and he's got room. Diving for extra yardage. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. UTSA up seven points. And he's level at the 50-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Scrambling around. Tackle around the 36-yard line. First down. After a decent run up the gut. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. From the 31 yard line, it's second down. Run play and he'll lose yards. Loss of one there for the halfback. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Shoved out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Now he 
he tries to buy some time. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. From their own 19 yard line, third down. They give to the tailback. He's out of bounds at about the 29 yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. The Roadrunners really taking care of business early in this football game. Yeah, somebody forgot to tell them that they're the big underdog in this game and they're supposed to lose. I love their confidence that they're playing with right now. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. UTSA is up seven. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's immediately tackled. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game, and I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. From the 37-yard line, first down. Throw, he caught it, and he's tackled at the 22-yard line. The Roadrunners, wide receiver, we hope can make a comeback, get back in this ball game. Went out with that injury a little bit earlier. Out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Second and six. Ball on the 18-yard line. Play action. There, terrific play. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick to return. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Roadrunners are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? It's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. He's on the run. They bring the quarterback down. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. He scrambled. And he's taken down around the 32-yard line. Three. 
Throws, falling back, and finds his man. And down he goes at midfield. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 30. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. Fires quick, he's got another one. He's taken down at the 13. in for six. And he adds the extra point. Marshall is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 26. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Boy, the defender was just sitting back there waiting to make that big hit. He realized he couldn't get there for the interception. So he did the next best thing. He timed up his hit by the time the quarterback threw the football. As soon as the receiver touched the football, he made that big hit to be able to get the football away from the receiver. Tackle made around the 30-yard line. That's good for the four yards. Third down. We've got a third and six here. Ball on the 30-yard line. UTSA is up by a touchdown. It out. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line. Nothing the offense dialed up was enough to get by these guys. They're on right now. That brings us fourth and three. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. He's got the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 45-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Quick shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 45. Into the halfback on the screen. Brought down at the 45. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Number four is the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. And 
he's tackled at the 34-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. UTSA is up a score. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start. Offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So the penalty makes it first and 15. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. That'll make it second and seven. Third and seven. Ball on the 37. Now he's scrambling. And he hits him hard at the 47. To that quickly. They'll bring him down at the 42. From the 42 yard line, it's first down. They go with a run he brought down in the backfield. Roadrunners had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Up the middle for a nice game. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. UTSA up seven points. Throws out and through his hands. And he might want it all here and does. This one will fall incomplete. Well, they decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on him. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Fires it quickly. It's dropped, incomplete. From their own 39-yard line, second down. Steps out at the 42-yard line. That makes it third and seven. Throws and it's incomplete. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. So the official's taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. After review the play, the rule on the field is reversed. So the call on the field will be reversed. Fields a punt at the 20. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. 
And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. UTSA is up seven. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at the 41-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 41. Steps out of bounds around the 37 yard line. Call it a game of four yards. That makes it six and six. From the 29 yard line, first down. Quick throw. And he's tackled right around the 20. That brings up second and one. Stop behind the line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it first and ten. UTSA is up by a touchdown. Has some daylight. Touchdown, Roadrunners. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. He hits the PAT. A seven play, 72 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Scrambling around. And he's taken down right around the 30. That's good for him. That brings him six and eight. And he tackles him hard at the 40. Takes it out to about the 50. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Very interesting first quarter. 21-7, Roadrunner. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Zips it to the tight end. He's at the 30. To the 10. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal.
So after the big pass play, we have a first and goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six play, 74 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Well, Kirk, good news. We saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, but apparently he's all right. It looks like he's going to get back in the action here. He gets out to about the 18 yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. UTSA is up a score. He goes out of bounds around the 22-yard line. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. And off to the left. That's a great tackle at the 25-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it third and three. And he's level at the 31-yard line. Number 44 with the tactical at the 31-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From their own 31 yard line. First down. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Right around the 36-yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Throws this one out to the right. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Number 85 was his intended receiver on that play. That'll bring up fourth and five. down at the 32-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He scrambled. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. That brings him second and five. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down around the 47-yard line. He's on the run. Tackle made around the 32-yard line. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 32. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. He chucks it downfield. Missed him. 
Boy, that was a rocket. If the receiver didn't come down with it, the quarterback made sure nobody else was going to come down with it either. Sir, good news. The guy that we saw go to the locker room with that injury earlier is back on the sideline, and I got to bet he's going to be back in the game soon. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Out of bounds around the 25-yard line. Slings it. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Change your quarterback, Kirby. you got to wonder what that's going to do to the team morale. It is next man up. They've got to be ready to trust this guy. Complete across the middle. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Trying to get a head start there. Ball start offense. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still first down. First and goal from the five, and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Touchdown, thundering her. a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They look like they practiced that one a few times. The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 73-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Marshall is ready to kick it away. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. That makes it second down. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Take it down to the backfield. He's hit and taken down. From their own 36 yard line. It's first down. Brought down at midfield. First down. He's scrambling. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down at the 34. That's good for a game of 16 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 34-yard line, first down. was almost picked off. Short over the middle. Tackle at about the 25-yard line. Number 53 on the tackle at the 25-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Hey, 
Here's an opening. Makes it to the five. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense and their psyche. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. First and goal from the four. They're knocking on the door. A short yardage defense here. Throws it. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. And he converts the extra point. UTSA lines up for the kickoff. He'll return it from the three. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. Marshall's offense struggle in that first quarter, but, man, they really come to life here in quarter number two. Well, they've hit their stride here offensively. If they could just have their own defense try to come up with a stop or two, they'd have the lead right now. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Quick pass. And he's tackled around the 42-yard line. to his receiver and he's taken down around the 46 yard line now he tries to buy some time and down he goes at the 46 yard line He makes it to the 45-yard line. And they'll get him in the backfield. It's got to be frustrating for this offense to go backwards, but they've just got to stick with it and know that big plays will eventually happen. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out in the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. So it's second down and about two yards to go. UTSA is up seven. And they get nice yardage on that run. Tailback open and he can't hang on. Number 11, the intended receiver on the play. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32 yard line. Looking right, intercepted. The 10. And he will score. will be tied with the extra point. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. It's 
taken from the three-yard line. And down he goes to the 37-yard line. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. Well, this is where we're really going to find out how this team can rebound and what kind of leadership that they have. You know, the last time they were out there, they turned the ball over. Now we're looking at a tie football game. So this is where the leadership really needs to step up, and this quarterback needs to be able to provide them. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop right around the 46-yard line. Number 53 on the tackle at the 46-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. And he carries the ball for a nice game. From the 39-yard line, first down. It's the tailback. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. That'll make it second to seven. Scrambling around. They'll make the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. Wants to go long and does. Can't connect. Number 18 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings us over to 11. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. He steps out around the 21-yard line. Gets it out quickly. He's taken down at the 28. So close, but they fall short of the first down. You've got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He makes it to the 42-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 42-yard line. Fires incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. If you spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go, you got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. Tackle made right around the 28-yard line. This one will be interference, but who's That's it going to be called on? Offense. They'll line up for another third Still down third play down. because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third and even longer now after the penalty. They come out in a five-wide set. Fire. 
was quick to an open man. He dropped it. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. And he muffed it. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Now he's scrambling. They bring him down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. From the 32 yard line. Second down. Catches it, and that's all. Well designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back in the zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. He throws right. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. That's TD pass number three. This quarterback is going to continue to tear him up until they get some pressure on him. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the three. And he's taken down at the 24. Marshall's offense has struggled here in the second quarter. Kirk, what do they need to do to get uh, going on this next drive? Well, Brad, I think they need to reestablish the rhythm that they had early in this game. Just kind of go back to the basics of what that game plan was. Running the football, a, a passing game that you have confidence in. Just trying to become a little bit more balanced. And, and then I think you'll find that rhythm and make it easier to drive the ball and put points on the board. Fires it out. Ball is loose, fumble. Defense says they've got it, and they do. And so the defense recovers the ball after the fullback coughed it up. Well, he's really going to hear about it from his coaches. you got to protect the football. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. him hard at the 45-yard line. On the ground, inside. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Defensive coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense if he's releasing a safety to stop the run. Second down and 11. Ball on the 46-yard line. Here's a 
throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He zips it. Marshall will take their first time out of the half. A touchdown away from a tie. What great concentration. He left his feet, made the catch, and managed to secure it when he hit the ground. That was just sensational. Nice run up the middle. He kept it himself and picked up about six yards. Marshall's going to have to use their second time out of the half. He's got two touchdowns on the ground today. Well, this young man is having a great individual day, but more of these guys on his team need to start doing the same if they want to get back into the game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, Herbie, if nothing else, we're keeping Reese Davis busy because the updates are coming from our game. Yeah, and, and the good thing about so many updates is Pollock doesn't have any room to talk because all it is is Reese and these highlights. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. So the old draw play gets him a good seven yards. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Brought down at the 42. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle around the 47-yard line. He goes downtown. This one's intercepted. It's the sophomore safety. Well, he was facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. It's first and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. with room to work. He's pushed out of bounds around the 44-yard line. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. We've got a first and 10, ball on the 44. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Number 24, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Yeah. 
Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Number seven was the intended receiver. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. That's a loss of about three. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. They'll bring him down at the 26. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. He makes it to the 28-yard line. That'll do it for the first half here. We're tied as the players head to the locker room. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. I completely understand an offensive coordinator's philosophy. If a play works, just keep going back to it over and over and over again. But you know, something seemed a little unusual about, about the play calling in the first half here. I, I, I know what you're saying. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. But if it's money, then put it in the bank and continue to do it over and over. He kept dialing up the money plays, man. I don't need to run anything else. If my money plays are going to work consistently, until you stop it, you better you better get used to seeing green and cha-ching, 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 because it's money in the bank. Are, are you trying to say behold the power of cheese? David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. Number 14 brings him down at the 33-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. He fights forward to about the 36. pressure wants to throw outside this one's intercepted it's the junior safety and he's tackled at the 46 yard line it's the safety who's in the right place at the right time the quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw right here he just tried to force something that wasn't there first and ten ball on the 46 He scrambled. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. That's a game seven on the way. That'll bring up second and three. There he goes. Makes it out to about the 30. From the 30-yard line, first down. Down. 
There's a strike complete. He's taken down around the 23-yard line. Seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Gets out to about the 21. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He fights forward to about the 13. That makes it second and six. Here's the eighth play of the series. Fires that quickly, incomplete. And here's another third down. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. UTSA could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and he got it. Well, that one looked like it was going to be wide, but he put it inside the upright. Yeah, he squeaked that one in, and he didn't have much more than a couple of inches to spare. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. The Roadrunners' defense really looked pathetic in that first half, Kirk, and now they're doing a nice job. Well, obviously, they've made some adjustments after the first half, and it's paid off for them. I think right now they're tuned in to what this offense is trying to do, and I think they're also just playing with a little bit more of a chip on their shoulder. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Zips it to the back. Tackle made at the 17-yard line. Loss of about two. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. That brings us third and 12. Dumps it complete to the halfback, over the middle. The defense was ready for that pass and catch, and they did a good job to hold them for such a short game. Got the corner. He's taken down at the 44. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. UTSA holds a field goal lead. He makes it to the 42-yard line. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 42. the catch and has a first down. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. 
He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. That's a game on two. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. And they hit him in the backfield. Really good play here in run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. Quick throw, and they'll get him in the backfield. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He delivers. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Of a yard. Very good job of coverage on the play. The freshman receiver made a nice play, but there was no room for him to run after the catch. He gets out to about the 42 yard line. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. UTSA is up by three. And now the ball is loose. It's picked up. They work hard, and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to he tell you, I think he was down game. before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After review of the play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So after the review, they reversed the call on the field. From the 38-yard line, second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Now he's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's tackled around the 24-yard line. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. Quick pass, touchdown, Roadrunners. That's his fourth touchdown pass of the game. Well, what we have right now is a quarterback who's very comfortable with his offense. He believes in his system, and the coaches and players believe in him. You couldn't ask for a better situation. And he hits the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. Brought down right around the 26-yard line. Tip. And he tackles him hard at the 22-yard line. And he grabbed that one off the tip. You know, sometimes interceptions like this require a little bit of luck. He happened to be in the right place at the right time. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Here we go. Makes it to the 11. Very well designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring us They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Quickly, and it's almost intercepted. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance, but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. He's out of bounds around the eight yard line. Number 36 was the intended receiver on the way. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I would be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. That brings up third and ten. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. picking up a field goal on their last drive. Little handoff. He's at the 40. Makes it to the 34. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34. The Roadrunners are one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Tackle around the 21-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. they 
He'll bring him down at the 20. He keeps it and picks up maybe a yard. That brings him second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 20. He keeps it on the option and picks up maybe four. That'll make it 35. Fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and it's good. UTS 8 is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He makes it to the 28-yard line. And down he goes at about the 37 yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Tackled after a decent pickup. First down. From their own 48 yard line, it's first down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's going to try and scramble. Kirk, we saw this guy head to the locker room a little bit earlier. Good to see him back on the sideline, and it looks like he could be returning to the game. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's taken down around the 46-yard line. And now he's got room to run. And they make the stop around the 34-yard line. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. And he's tackled right around the 34. It's a great play by the defense, but it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Give to the tailback, and he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. And he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. They 
sack him on fourth down. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He's at the 40. Makes it to the 31. That's good for a game of 18 yards. First down. From the 21 yard line. First down. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. That makes it second and 10. to that quickly. What a play, and that is first and goal. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. First down. They've got four cracks at it inside the five. It's first and goal. Touchdown, Roadrunners. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreet. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. Across the 30. What a collision. Marshall's having a hard time doing anything on offense right now. Well, they've had some opportunities, but they either turn the ball over or obviously don't execute on third down, and they're forced to punt. Uh, or their drive uh, ends up uh, stalling in a fourth down. But they're moving the ball at times. I think they've just got to take some chances at this point late in the game like this. Throw the ball downfield and hope that your receivers can make some plays. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. Nice run up the middle. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Throws it to the outside. And he dropped it. Number 88. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. Five-yard loss on the play. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Throw 
throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at the 46-yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Roadrunners lead it by 23. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. He zips it out to the left, and it's incomplete. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play, but, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Fires it out. Brought down at about the 31. First and 10. Ball on the 31. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. A one-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle at the 24. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Makes it out to about the 21 yard line. That makes it fourth and inches. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Gathered in at the six. Oh, man, did he take a hit. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Bring him down at the 33 yard line. And down he goes at the 42 yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. Protected. Now he's going to run with it. He's going to take off. 
He dives and he'll be marked down. the 17 yard line. Makes the catch and look out. He goes out of bounds at the 15 yard line. Tries to buy some time. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Got a man. He can't complete the play. Tenth play of the drive. That brings up second and goal. Three rushing touchdowns on the ground today for this young man. I know this defense prepared for his running ability, but even so, boy, he's had a great day. And he adds the extra point. Marshall lines up for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. They're not only the better football team on paper, as they've demonstrated today, they're the better team on the field today. And this offense has been outstanding. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. There's a strike complete. He's down. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. to his receiver, no good. Number 81, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. He's to the 40, and he's tackled at the 43-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. And they make the stop around the 48-yard line. That makes it second and two. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. And he's taken down at the 44. Screen drops. 
Second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Hands it off. He fights forward to about the 43. throw out to the receiver and he's tackled right around the 30. He's on the run. Tackle made around the 27 yard line. Gets to about the 14-yard line. Stop short of the line of scrimmage. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Going to the end zone. Picked off. Another interception by this defense, and their sideline is really fired up. Yeah, they didn't want this quarterback to be able to beat them through the air. And with three interceptions, I would say they are winning that battle right now. From their own 20-yard line. It's first down. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. That makes it second and ten. to his man on the screen and he shoved out of bounds at the 31 yard line that one goes for good yardage and a first down yeah that's just a nice gain on second down from their own 31 yard line first down he tackles him for a loss over the middle. He's tackled at the 34. That's good for a of four yards. That makes it third and seven. From their own 34-yard line, it's third down. Brought down around the 45-yard line. That's good for a of four yards. First down. Got some open field. Gets out to around the 45. Call it again at 10 yards. That brings up second. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He laterals the ball. Fumble, loose ball. It's recovered. 
Fumble on the play, recovered by the defense. What do you think about that last turnover, Kirk? Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep, those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Now he's scrambling. He takes off. Tackle at about the 33-yard line. From the 33-yard line, first down. Fires out quick, it's picked off. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh yeah, this guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Caught, and he's hit immediately. a screen pass gets it to the back he's brought down in the open field it's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it they'll bring him down at the 45 Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Quick throw over the back, it's incomplete. This is the eighth play of this drive. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Brought down to the open field. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Fires quickly and he's got his man. Touchdown, thundering herd. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. And he tacks on the extra point. Marshall gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. And down he goes around the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. Fires out to his wideout. He's taken down at the 47. Three yards there on the play. This kid's just a sophomore. He'll learn how to break those short catches in the big game. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 50-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop at around the 44-yard line. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. He makes the catch and has a first down. And he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. From the 37-yard line, first down. Gets it out to him again. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. Maybe the 20 yard line. That brings up second and nine. From the 20 yard line, it's second down. out to around the 12. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Third down. This is the ninth play of this drive. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense and their psyche. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. It's second and goal. Ball on the five. Touchdown, Roadrunners. Touchdown should put this one away, Kirk. He makes the PAT. UTSA is ready to kick it away. And he'll return this one from the seventh. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. They 
They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Spikes the ball. We've got a third and six here. Ball on the 33. Just under two minutes in the game. Here's a running play. That's a great tackle at the 41-yard line. He airs it out. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 41. Gets it out quickly. And he hits him hard at the 49. That's good for Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's tackled right around the 40. This is the ninth play of the current drive. And he's sacked. Sheds that one. Wow, what a bad. And what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, UTSA 68, Marshall 49. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.